see you on the other side. Goodbye. The detail, I can just taste it. Miss Fundel. Miss Fundel. Welcome. Please. Jeez, this is sketchy. Don't be a doubter, Miss Fundel. Please. What's this all about, Professor? Where's the magic? Magic? Well, it's all in there, Miss Ferndale. Huh. Look at this. Red marks all over. All because of a few misplaced commas and brackets. The technicality there is so sketchy. Mm -hmm. I think we'll have to start with Miss Ferndale. Would you care to have dinner with me and a few friends? As long as we leave that year. Sure thing. Jeez, this room! I love it! Hey, focus, Miss Ferndale. Our guests are waiting. Waiting for what? Their invitation, of course. <laughs> Quick, it's ringing. Yeah. Professor is asking for a password or something. Ah, of course. Yeah. Uh, according to McCarthy, a macroeconomic approach should be adopted when dealing with the issue of rhino horn sales. Hey! No, I thought we were leaving this behind. Why did you do this? Miss Ferber, this is your party. These are your guests. Your opinion is not relevant. I've written many articles on this topic, eh? Yes, I've even read some on the online encyclopedia. Can't be serious. Yes, do you even know serious? why we are here? Yeah. Professor, we need to get some of these people out of here before some serious first action takes place. <laughs> no, Miss Fandel. Don't you see what the problem is? Yeah, so many. Your guess, Miss Fandel. Why so many irrelevant guests? Irrelevant opinions only cause unnecessary arguments. You're crazy, and you're being a blame shifter. There's no time for more arguments. Please, Miss Ferndale, find these guests in your bibliography and tell me I'm wrong. Oh, did I miss that? Use this. And see the magic. So I chose the chosen sources, Sarah, with strong fruity flavor. Miss Ferndale, hey. As I was saying, the chosen sources, Sarah. I'm so glad to see there's still Thanks. some sanity in this room. Dr. Peterson, the pleasure is all mine. I read your last published article and I couldn't agree more. It's a the and we do their job. Well done. You Could I cheers you for that? Lame! Professor, what? Everything's been going so well. So boring, you mean. I almost fell asleep. It's better than the arguments out there. Argument versus agreement. I'd rather fight than die of boredom. Maybe I was a bit conservative in choosing this crowd. No, Miss Ferndale, this is the perfect crowd. You just have to take a closer look. Something's wrong. It's the seat positioning. Well spotted, Miss Ferndale. And on that note, would you like to play some music? Ah, sure. <laughs> My pleasure. We could jams, Professor. Why, thank you. But, uh, please, Miss Ferndale, I think I smell something burning. Position, please. Maybe this will be better. Well, that's much better. Now I can serve the spicy springbok carpaccio. It's wildly fantastic and a real conversation starter. I propose that we consider legal trade. Research we've done show that neither the market nor the animals have gained much from legal trade. I agree to it not being the ideal solution, but at this stage, it's the appropriate one. I've also learned that 
Chinese hospitals, traditional Chinese hospitals, are willing to pay for the dehorn parts for medicinal use. That's a bold statement. Where did you read that? In an article that Dr. Van Sel wrote. But you can't just steal my words like that, young lady. I did not steal your words. It's referenced right there. Oh no, this is preposterous. Look at this. I, I don't understand. Hold it. Fandel, what have you done? The one moment, I'm giving this guy credit, and the next they're all jumping down my throat. And for good reason? No one likes to be embarrassed in front of their peers? Embarrassed? How? Commas and brackets. Think, Miss Ferndale. Commas and brackets. Commas and brackets. Ah, oh, the technicality. Technicality breeds trust. Correction! Success! Let this guide you, Miss Ferndale. For the main course, I've prepared my most trusted dish. Tender filet with the perfect pepper sauce. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Young lady, I must say, and I think I speak for everyone here when I say that you've done an excellent job with this. Well done, Miss Ferndale. Would you mind rekindling the conversation? Oh, Professor, um, stage right there. Don't be afraid, Lloyd. We need all the help we can get, and after yeah. all this effort, yes. I'm sure you have something to contribute. Okay. Well, I think that... Are we even debating the idea of selling a substance to uninformed communities who think it's going to heal their children instead of seeking real help? How is this even a debate? Sure. It's a debate because there's not one simple solution. Traditional medicine and hospitals, an important part of Eastern cultures. What do you propose we do? It should be a collaborative issue. We're all trying to save the rhino. We do need some more research to be done now. No, Miss Ferndale, here's to you. Cheers. And here's to not going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>